There was a movie that uh, was really famous when I was little. It was called E.T. And um, I don't even know, did kids even watch that anymore? Is that like so old? Like they don't even know what E.T. is, right? <laughs> um, you remember, it's like he was eating those little M&Ms or Reese's things. Uh, but he had this finger that was really special. You know, and that finger was like what illuminated so much, right? And um, you hear over and over again this reference to the finger of God uh, throughout Christianity. It's kind of like a light motif on the finger of God, right? Um, you can hear it in Exodus when Moses is battling the, the demons and the magicians of the Pharaoh. And they say it's obvious, the, like the people that were on the wrong side of Moses were like, there is the finger of God. And that got Pharaoh so angry to think that he would be defeated by this mere Jewish guy who at one point was enslaved. And then obviously uh, it's captured here by uh, the Lord saying, if it's the finger of God, then the kingdom of God is at hand. Augustine would, Saint Augustine would comment on this as being like the finger of God is, <coughs> is actually the role of the Holy Spirit in our life. And there's one of the greatest hymns which I used to sing every morning when I woke up. It was called the Veni Creator, which is the, the Come Holy Spirit. And um, in that, there's this reference to the De Digitus Est, which is like the right finger of God. And then obviously Michelangelo captures this in probably the most epic painting of all time, which is the finger of God touching the finger of Adam. That's the E.T. moment that Steven Spielberg was leaning on. I don't think he knew about these. Well, maybe he did. He was a Jewish man. He might have known some scripture there. <coughs> and so for me, at least today, the question becomes like there's this sense throughout Lent. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. This is uh, every morning the priests pray these inv inv uh, the invitatory uh, psalm. And this is what's on our hearts every morning as we pray. This, this petition for 40 days. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. And um, at least for me, what keeps me from following, in other words, listening, because that's what listening is, to, it's to hear and to follow. Uh, the Lord, his, his finger, his pointing of where you know, he's leading me to, comes down to like putting on this armor of busyness. Like, I've got a schedule, and I've got to run it. So God, when I'm ready for you, I'll follow you. But until I'm done with my schedule, I'm not following you. Like, we get so busy, at least I get so busy, that I build up this armor of, like, protection. Well, i got my agenda to work out today. And it's like, well, wait a second. Are you going to harden your heart to the point where, like, as God, Jesus says here, that, that this armor <laughs> gets put around us, thinking that's what I'm going to rely on for me to be able to uh, be fulfilled today is the busyness of my schedule. And that's where the role of the Holy Spirit can truly come into our lives when we examine and we look at our daily life and our habits and say, am I following just in that simple, very simple way, the way in which God is pointing to me to go? And that means, first of all, allowing our hearts to be open, just like the soil is right now. It's so in need of, like, to be refreshed so that the flowers can grow. But imagine if we just put, it like, a plastic bag over the soil. It can't get the sun, it can't get the, the rain, and so it's stifled. The busyness is that plastic bag. And if we let the finger of God into our soil, it'd be amazing how he can point our way to growth, to blossoming, and to flourishing. And so against the attacks of the devil that wants to keep us busy, that wants us to get into our armor, into our little turtle shell, so that we can't feel and hear God, that's where we need the Lord to come into our lives today. And so maybe it is time for that E.T. moment, you know, <laughs> to allow our finger to touch the finger of God and to allow that finger of God to lead us in all the simple things that we do, the hard things that we do, and most importantly, the way in which the Lord wants to love us into eternity.